Downtown Amarillo has seen some major revitalization efforts in the last decade and a new plan is seeking to make sure that that progress continues. Thanks for joining us tonight. Andy has the evening off. Jackie is on assignment. Yesterday, a presentation of an updated downtown strategic action plan was presented to the Amarillo City Council. Also presented recommended changes to the downtown Amarillo urban design standards. KAMR Local 4's Maggie Glenn has tonight's top story from your local election headquarters. This is the planning area for um, the, the action plan. Emily Kohler is the City of Amarillo's Planning and Development Services Manager. She laid out the proposals yesterday. Today, she explains the background. The strategic action plan was first adopted in 2008, and about a year ago, the council gave direction to uh, basically do a refresh. This refresh includes an update to downtown urban design standards like light pole regulations and sidewalk improvements. These might sound minor, but Kohler says they're necessary. And so that's one of our um, goals for downtown is that it is just a really nice place to be that you don't want to be in your car when you come downtown. You want to um, walk around, enjoy the restaurants, enjoy the experience on the street. Some of the bigger goals on the updated action plan include the expansion of the Civic Center and the continued growth of Polk Street. Attracting um, diversified retail and restaurants to downtown, continuing to focus on the Polk Street corridor as a center for dining and entertainment. This will hopefully attract new residents, which is another goal on the action plan. This includes adding amenities directly downtown. There's a downtown grocery store, but there's a, a, a strong desire to increase the residential population um, in downtown. And in order to do that, we need to be able to offer amenities. Currently, there are a few apartments available, but developers could look to redevelop some of the historic buildings downtown into livable spaces. Live in studio, Maggie Glenn, KAMR Local 4 News. Megan. Maggie, thank you. The next step in that process is the official first reading for the urban design standards, which will be next Tuesday at the regularly scheduled city council meeting.